boy homo ziggy we back here with another music mayhem and hey we got nikki tracks contrast we got ham sandwich and freaking a cg and we're gonna end it off with some nerd out and such so make sure you stick around to the end of this video because i guarantee you it's basically like this i need to start forcing y'all to watch my damn channel forcing y'all to watch these music mayhems because y'all be y'all be disrespectful very 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 disrespectful <laughs> very disrespectful to them put some respect on their names and either way we're gonna start this off with nikki tracks with a brooks rap the ballad of the soul king featuring macro and west side deli so make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on all my socials up there and Without further ado, let's get in the video. is booming in the background now m weights is just booming in the background run that back let it silence this with no phone of mine i don't want no distractions but that bass is just boom, boom, booming in the background if y'all not hearing that shit, oh look run that back a little bit Say, you hear that? Remember my name. Okay. When it's already dead, I lost what I want, so I won't lose it again. Like, what would you do with the price on your head if you knew you would lose without trying to win? I guess I would fight it with every breath. With all of the air I had left in my chest, with all of the strength I could muster to get till I'm lost in a rage and I'm coming for half. It's these altitudes. The height of my peak reached Saturn's moons. You might see me smile with a laugh or two, but deep inside I see Saturn's moons. I might have died if I had it. Bro, Nick, hold on. I want to make sure that y'all seen the screen and such, because most of. Look. I be a little paranoid, so don't get me wrong and such, right? Do not attack me. Okay, so we, my bad. Just had to check for a little bit. Now, Nikki just knows how to capture how our song should be. Especially if it's like, especially if it's like one piece and such, where you know it's mostly like either energetic, heartwarming, or it's like how it's like a captain type, like a pirate adventure and such it re he really he really captures it and such with every breath with all of the air i had left in my chest with all the strength i could muster to get till i'm lost in a rage and i'm coming for half it's the height of my peak three saturn's moons do i see me smile with a laugh matter hold on the height of my peak can reach saturn's moons mm. That's a long ass peak. That is two. That's a two moons. I was singing the blues. I, I was. was alone. I had nothing to lose. I, I was the one who was haunted by trauma. They thought I was gone, but I'm coming for dudes. Mm -hmm. you are where I'm coming for you. I rock the show. I got nothing to prove. When they love what you do, and it's nothing to you, they start rocking with you. Cause you always stay true. My pro always kills these damn hooks. My Bro, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. When it comes to macro. It's basically like this. 
And I've, look, I'm, I'm gonna keep on saying it for many times for such an occasion like this. When you got a rapper who can not only kill a verse, but can also kill a hook, nigga, they be the ones that you always want to go to. It might get a, you might think it's a little annoying. Nah, nigga, they just understand the impact of how a good hook needs to sound like or a great verse. But more importantly, for something like this, a hook where it don't sound like it's too much of a rapping such and it has a little elements of how it can make it be impactful i've said it before i don't care i did say with the longer search i've said it before as long as the hook has some type of emotion in it whether it's a lit emotion whether it's a heart-wrenching emotion whether it's talking emotion like a really hearing what you're trying to say and such no matter if it's a long one or a short one as long as that, that emotion in it, it's fire to me. And with Macro, does that every single time. And you can't tell me otherwise. You do think otherwise, some wrong with you. Oh my own! My name, you best remember my name. Remember my name, you best remember my name. What's that daily here? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Hey, shout out to the internet city. Shout out to the internet city themselves and such. Because I'm pretty sure Westside Deli is still, he's still part of. Been a little minute since I've heard from Westside Deli. He needs to be back on more nerdcore songs. I ain't gonna lie. Or maybe he has really some. I haven't checked it out yet. Could be bad on my part. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all gotta let me know. I don't be checking a lot. And I saw a comment under this video saying about how there's too much auto tune. Nigga, what? What are you talking about, sir? Even if there is auto tune, what's wrong with that? You need auto when it comes. I've said it before. With auto tune, it depends on if you know how to use it correctly. Cause not anybody can just throw on auto tune and they instantly become better. Nah, you gotta really know. One, you really gotta know how to sing well. And two, nine times out of ten, sometimes people be using it too much and don't be using it enough. You gotta reach that right, that right point where it's not too much of it, but it's not too little of it. It's just right there where we can still hear it, still sounds fire, and it's not drowning out the beat. That's how I look at it. Okay. When I'm stepping, no, this shit getting scary. How can you kill what has never been buried? How can you kill what has never been buried? How can you kill what has never been buried? Because he's literally a little skeleton. My own. I'm the one to blame. Life will never be the same. If I get to sing again, best remember my name. You best remember my name. 
name my name You best remember my name Okay. My name. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shout out to Macro and Westside Deli for them features. And Nikki, of course, we always gotta give respects to him. Because with the bars and such. But, come on now. Next now, if we can get it faster and such, we got Hala CG, the goddess of victory, a Nick cover, the Red Hood. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we got the energies up. Oh. Oh look, the energy just went up, up, up. Oh look, first of all, one, back this up a little bit. Two, get the visual quality up a little bit more. That would be in such. And three, hold up a second. I have not, have I heard of like, I don't think I've ever heard Hala CG's like energy on a song like this before. Where it's like on a rock face level. Like on a this type of level and shit. If I have, probably don't remember. But fuck it, I don't matter. Back it up. I like it. And hey, like I always say, big shout outs to the ladies of Nerdcore, cause it wouldn't be right of me to not do that. I gotta say this. I'm pretty sure this is a video game or whatnot or anime. If it is, hold on. Let me see the description. Yeah, it's a video game. But I gotta say this. Whether it's video game or whether it's an anime. What? Look, you know what? I'm not even. I'm not even. You, you already saw what I saw. It's literally pointing right at you. So, I ain't even got to say nothing. You see it. But all I just got to question is, why do they always got to draw them like that? <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm supposed to concentrate on the music. When it comes to the freaking the AMV and such. Come on now. I know. And I don't better. And I better not get no comments about, oh, why are you sexualizing? Bitchy, why the hell did they draw it like this then? If you don't want me to say something about it. Mm. If it jaws, if it's literally jawed like this, why you don't want me to say nothing about it? Anyway, let's get this song. Sorry. <laughs> the song is still fire either way. <laughs> <laughs> Just make one of the rubber. If this don't give you that rebel rock type of thing, I don't know what does. <laughs>
make good of Make this one work. <laughs> Let me tell you how loud this is it's in my ear. If you have headphones, right? This all right, look. This is a little feature on my laptop where it has like Windows and such, Windows Sonic for headphones. You do have that feature. I guarantee you. Put, click, put that feature on, and I guarantee you, them suckers are gonna. It's gonna feel like you're in a stadium. <laughs> Just the way how this sounds. Right? Telling y'all. Just by how it sounds, it sounds like you're in a stadium. Because if I, I could just imagine how it is if I don't have the feature on it, it probably still be loud. But just with that feature alone on it, makes this song even more impactful and more louder. Make you really feel like you're in a stadium listening to this shit. You can tell me otherwise. <laughs> Make you really want to get the guitar and just start rocking out. This is it. First it was the I wanna y'all let me know when it comes to these sponsored rap songs or whatnot, right? Who y'all think does it best? Is he eight or hollow? Cause I guarantee you from my point of view sorry for me I'ma always go with freaking Dizzy Eight but then again who's not to say the ladies can't do it too? God damn. Normally I never think about playing books, games on my phone, certain songs, but songs like this, yeah, <laughs> make you really want to start playing. Make me just want to download it and just playing it. Sorry, here on my face. I have never heard how to scream like that before. Hold the hell up. You better strain your voice, girl. Oh. Hold on, so. And we're back. Sorry, y'all. Let's just say through that entire little pause break and such, it was a doozy. But we back to it. Now what what? Now where I left off where I was doing something and such is those damn screams. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard Hella CG scream on a song like this before. If you have, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure this is the first time she's ever screamed. Like this and such. And again, could be me. Could be totally wrong. So y'all would have to let me know. Nah. 
First of all, you can't just go from screaming your effing voice out to then coming energetically like that on a song. Nah. Ain't no way. I don't believe that for once in a second. Just gonna scream on me. <laughs> to finish it was just all craziness from Hala. And we love to see this. But now we got ham sandwich with say yes. Say yes to what? It can go two lot of ways when it comes to ham sandwich. This one my um is album last year or so? Yeah, it looks like it. So let me It's the quality on to be honest, it be the quality sometimes so <laughs> Ooh. Let me get this off my chest now Girl, you know you made me feel blessed now You made me wanna say yes now You made me wanna say yes Mario, how I give you the pipe down. Pipe and such way. Mario goes down and such. The pipe. Hey. What have I always say? Ham sandwich. This man got three styles to his rapping. The barry. No, the text to speech. The freaky. And the really rapping, rapping and such. He will find a way how to combine two of the three. And it will sound so fire. So. Got me feeling some way I can't write down. Mario, how I give you the pipe, pipe down. down. If you touch me, I might leave the stratosphere. Got my blood rushing harder than Vladimir. I'll be shooting hmm. my shot like a cannon in. And we ain't got to talk on what happened here. Nah, we ain't here for the kiss and tell. We make a magic like a wishing well. This body hmm. language, I'm a listen well. Let me get this off my chest now. you know you made me feel blessed now. You made me wanna say yes now. You made me wanna say yes. You made Don't let ham sandwich come serenade your girl now. What the hell? Yes now. Are we gonna get a little beat switch? What we got? Little beat switch or so? We're gonna switch up the melody. <laughs> What's that sample? Mm. Find me right in your pocket 
right next to your phone be Now mm. you know where to find me You can never be lonely Now you know where to find me You can never be lonely I mean your pocket You knocked me off of my pony What mm. the shit I would die for Back when I was a Ronin Niggas really fake beefing I've, I've heard that say many times. Y'all gotta let me know. What is a Ronin? I mean, I would want to search it up, but I want y'all to tell me. What's a Ronin? Because I don't know what. I've always hear that in many nerdcore songs. And never know what the heck does it mean. Never one time I even tried to even search it up. So y'all gotta tell me. What's a Ronin? Don't, don't think I'm finna know. Find me, you can never be lonely. Now you know where to find me. You can never be lonely. Used to ride on my high horse. You knocked me off of my pony. Mm. Wasn't shit I would die for. Back when I was a Ronin. Mm. Niggas really fake beefing. They was rapping baloney. They mm. been living in bubbles. Since way before COVID. Plenty mm. fish in the ocean. Niggas been rapping in bubbles since way before COVID and such. Bubbles way before COVID. Plenty fish in the ocean. Ain't none of them know me. Back then I was hoping somebody would show me. Back then I was broken. Almost drowned, I was choking. Now my heart wide open. I must come back. Hello. We're gonna keep it rolling. I just want to check. Okay, we're good. I just have to check if we're, I'm still recording because sometimes I'll be a little paranoid. I don't think I'm recording, so we're good. Don't judge me. Be paranoid a lot. Hey, shout out to Ham Sandwich that say yes. Fire. Now we got contrast. You say you love me. What the heck in the hype? What the hyper pop is going on? What in the world? I literally just clicked on your ass and you're already coming with me this hyper pop vibe. Well, it is contrast. He is versatile, so fuck it. <laughs> Man is versatile, so I wouldn't suspect nonetheless. Hey, 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 I don't care what you look. Certain people who know me personally, look, I don't care what you say if you see me dancing like a fool to this. It's fire. This. This type of music is way more fire than most of your favorite rappers' music, cuz. Let's be honest. Most of them shits just be talking about the same old shits. These, for the nerdcore and such, way more fire. You give me hey. Baby, I know I can't skip over this yes, bitch. And I can't leave unless you're in my embrace. Price. Cause this the type of love I could never replicate. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, hey. Um, this is definitely giving me mid 2000s T Pain vibes. I don't know. 
It is. It just is. Oh, it is big. Oh, the saxophone in the background. Yes, I was sliding with my chair back and forth with that speed. What you mean? If you wasn't something wrong with you. I mean, you need to tell me when you hear songs like this from Contrast, you don't want to move and groove with yourself? Something wrong with you, Dad. Because you must be smoking. Fudgy, if you think. You must be smoking. D, if you don't think this is good. What the fuck is you talking about? I don't know about y'all, but I know it too. that saxophone <laughs> now you see why this nigga has over a million spotify listeners because of shit like this nigga <laughs> Hey, Contrast is the man when it comes to this shit. Now I think it's last song. Yep, last song of this music mayhem. Nerd out. Five Nights at Freddy's movie song. Treat you right. All your darkest fears never said a lot. And of course, whisper through the walls, no one needs a sound. It's like this when it comes to nerd out, mostly either Ben or Nem. Shout out to Jack, too. Don't get it twisted, but y'all gotta let me know. Jack is Jack more of like the user, or you gotta be more of like a producer. Like, I'm not. Because I'm not trying to lie. Does he ever rap? Because I've never heard him rap yet. But regardless, right? When it comes to Ben and Ben and them. There's particular songs, even when they're in the, using the nerd out and such, that you can tell which one of them fits them. So for when it's like the excitement, craziness and such, it will mostly be them. Whenever it's like... So whatever it's like a thing where it's need to be like epic, gruesome and such, in a way, it will be Ben. But then again, you never know. Both of them niggas can be on the same song that either has one of those two. So it's a it's, you never know. But either way, no matter what, it'll always be fire. You can't tell me otherwise. All your darkest fears never said out loud Whisper through the walls, no one needs a song 
Wandering the halls, nothing to be found You wanna be the one that could make it out Fuck you, spin trap. You keep on forgetting, forgetting. That we're the ones who run this show. Oh, you wanna come inside? No, I don't. We think that you should come inside. Mm. But I'm gone. We think that you should come inside. I am out of there. I promise that we'll treat you right. <laughs> Think that you should come inside. Be <laughs> right. I promise that I will treat you right. If it's this shit, nah. First of all, <laughs> Ben, we already know with his type of melatonin like voice where it gives it that like echo ness and like that spookify horror type of echo, melodramatic type voice, you can say. Is that what I call? Probably. But regardless, that's for Ben's part, right? Now, for when it's saying something about this now, talking about you're gonna treat me right? Nah, nigga. You part of those damn robots. You ain't not treating nobody right. you gonna scare the ever loving sh out of them. Think that you should come inside. <laughs> you crazy if you think you're treating me. Me? Crazy. Hey. Better keep your eyes moving through the screen. Deep. Make it through the night, there's no way to leave. Unless it's six. No one comes to hell when they hear the scream. You think that you ready? You should have had the scream there. Should I had like Fred that Freddy screaming such as in the back. Go. Yes, before it three. Two, one when they hear the scream you, you should have you right there you ready you think that you ready no you keep on forgetting forgetting the we're the ones who run this show the men are tones come inside You ain't making me come in nowhere. You think that you're ready. You should come inside. You think that you're ready. You think that you're ready. I promise I will treat you right. Now you tell me. I promise that I will treat you right. Now you tell me, sir. <laughs> if I didn't trust the game or. Now you tell me, if I didn't trust the game of it already, that will scare me sh less and such. And after hearing that there's the movie that's out and such, you tell me, sir, what makes you think I'm gonna trust you now? <clears throat> what makes you think I'm gonna trust you now to treat me right? Get the out of here. <laughs> but hey. Hopefully y'all enjoy this music mayhem and such. Sorry for the long pause throughout this and such because I was busy throughout this entire day. By the time y'all see this, it's like <laughs> at this time right now, it's it's Thursday, November 9th. So yeah. Cause on the first it was y'all you basically will see the difference and such. But either way. Hopefully y'all enjoy this and such. Shout out to everybody who was on this music mayhem. Make sure y'all go run these up. The original links to all of these songs will be in description. <coughs> Sorry, burp. They be in description down below. But either way, it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. And if you made it all the way to the end of this, you're a real one. Comment down below. Melodramatic. And that makes me know you made it to the end. But it's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Check out my other reaction right up there. Follow me on all my socials up there because we trying to grind up there and such. And hey, stay positive, keep the vibes up, and hit that subscribe button because we're on the road to 2K.
There you go.